Hello and welcome to WWE 2K15 Universe Mode on Xbox One. My name is Tubby Emu. If you miss anything about Universe Mode, well, guess what? It's back. And with the next-gen physics, graphics, and some of the other improvements, I will be doing a full Universe Mode this year. And we're not only going to be doing one here on Xbox One, I'm going to be doing one on PS4 as well with Tony Pizza Guy via SharePlay. That should be coming soon. Let's jump right into it. For those of you who don't know, Universe Mode is always something we start, but it, the excitement really isn't there. The stories aren't there. But now with what they've done in the game, I feel it's time to go in and finally have a proper Universe Mode. And the reason I say that, the crawling... The movements, the kicking out at 2.9, I think can provide for some awesome universe moments. So that's what we're going to do. Now, we're going to jump right in, and I want to set up the rosters because I know there was an issue on last gen as far as picking the superstars. So the uh, show that we're going to be running, as you can see, these are the show we have to have. Custom, roster name, we're doing... Main event. We're going to run a better main event. The main event runs a better main event. Main event. Now, as far as introducing new characters and superstars into this one, we have hinted at the possibility of... Uh-oh. Oh, main event really isn't one of the shows we can choose? Uh oh this is bad. Okay, maybe we can't do main event. <laughs> I wasn't ready for this. Okay, we can't do that. So, we're going to go back... Edit the calendar. You know what? I don't think SmackDown. I don't think SmackDown gets the recognition it deserves. We're going to do SmackDown. And I can't believe I'm going to say that. But we are. As we pick up our rosters, we're going to take a look at the SmackDown roster. Manage our superstars. Let's get rid of that jabroni. We don't need him. We don't. Yeah, we might keep Big Show. Uh, let's get rid of Darren Young for now. We might introduce Darren and Titus later if they uh, reunite. Gabriel, we can keep around. Mark Henry, pretty standard SmackDown roster. Santino Morella, we'll let him stick around. Titus, we'll bring back if we do use him. Undertaker, we're going to take off. William Regal, I might keep him around because I think William Regal in my match I've already done with him did a good job. So let's bring in our Divas, Adrian Neville. Let's bring in our NXT guys, Bo Dallas. Whether or not we use them, I'm not exactly 100% sure. Actually, you know, we could do a full NXT show as well. But for right now, we're going to stick with what works. We're going to stick with some of the other guys that we can feature and showcase. So let's bring in... We're going to keep the shield out for now because I have a plan for them later on. John Cena, yes. We've got to have John Cena on the show to, to deliver that AA out of nowhere occasionally. Kofi, we'll keep Kofi off for now. We might want to bring on Randy just in case. Now, I will be editing the matches. I will be commentating them as an actual match type thing, and we will be working on some of this stuff. So we're going to hold off on the Shield members for right now. We don't need Sheamus. We don't need Xavier. I think that pretty much adds in who we want to add in. I think that's everybody. We're going to keep... Oh, we need Corey Graves. Can't forget Corey Graves. You know, let's bring in Curtis Axel and Ryback, too. Even though Ryback so is broken up, we're going to add them in just in case. And we'll add in that Jabroni Rusev. So there we go. We've got our uh, rosters. Let's go ahead and hit accept. We've got a, a big roster of people to use. So we're going to hit accept. Now, we only have two Divas, so we should probably add in some Divas. Divas are always good, right? People like Divas. I don't know what I was waiting for to add in the Divas. So let's go ahead and add in... Divas, Summer Rae, the Bellas, for right now with AJ Lee. We might bring in more down the road, but SmackDown roster. All right, edit teams. We're going to break up the shield. Sorry, but yes, we are disabling them. The Brotherhood, we may or may not disable them. We'll still see. Rybaxel is gone. Xavier in our woods is gone, but we're going to edit this, and we're going to make uh, this the big... New faction being the New Day. We will edit them later on. Right now, it's not 
my top priority, but Xavier was. And then the member number three added, yeah, actually, you know what? Let's make Kofi the tag team member first. Kofi, and then Big E Langston, because he's the heavy, remember. He's the heavy. Um, no, I don't want to worry about the entrance now. We'll worry about that later. Team name, A New Day. Got to make sure we add in that. A New Day. If I would have hit space, that would have been great. There we go. A New Day. We'll hit accept. We'll worry about their entrance later on. Because right now, we're not too concerned about it. And we'll see if any stories or anything play out. But for right now, we'll keep with what we have. The Funkadactyls, they're gone. Evolution, they're gone. The Bella Twins, I'm going to keep them around for right now. The Usos, the Wyatt family, we'll keep those factions that we have right there. Edit our titles now. Our single titles, our main title on SmackDown is going to be Let's see. I want to switch it up. I don't want to do the normal thing we always do. Let's make it. I don't want to go super old school. The undisputed. Like, I don't want to use the undisputed belt. We can go back. The Brahma Bull title. Nah. I think we're going to go ahead and use the wing title. I think that'll make some people happy. We'll make it the wing title. And are we going to crown a champion? We're going to see. Should I just go random? Somebody random on a roster that could carry the title. Let's see. Let's give it to somebody who needs a shot but still could possibly lose it. Do we want to make it against John Cena? John Cena. You know what? We're going to give it to Mark Henry. I want Mark Henry to have one title run here, and we're going to give him that title. We're going to see if Mark Henry can carry our SmackDown brand into the future, and I know somebody's like, oh, no, not him. Just just be patient. Um, edit, SmackDown. Let's go ahead and add in our championships. Is the wing title with Mark Henry, our singles. We're going to keep as the Intercontinental Champion. And the rest of the ones we're going to keep. Five matches on the show. The roster is SmackDown. The arena, though will be oh wait do they not have they have a vintage raw stage do they not have a vintage smackdown stage oh that's kind of a bummer okay well we're gonna use just the normal smackdown set then hit accept this way we're right on the fridays we're already ready to go take a look all right let's see edit superstars I want to make sure Brock's not on our fucking show. No, he's not. Okay, good. Um, oh, wait a minute. I forgot to add in one person. Manager Superstars. We got to add in uh, one of the New Day members, right? We missed, was it Kofi or Big E that we forgot to put on? We got Xavier, Kofi Kingston, and then Big E should already be on the show. Yes, Big E was already on the show, so there we go. Now we've got a new day completely in our rosters. You can see our size. Let's go ahead and story options. Off, on. And we're going to let that stuff go auto. Tag team, crowd reaction, and injury. Yes. Automatic rivalries, though. No, I want to go ahead and make the... Actually, you know what? Let's, let's let it play out. We might pick them and change them. But we'll see where things go. So we have that all set up. As far as our custom universe mode, let's take a look at our rivalries now. Friday Night SmackDown. You, he's not even on SmackDown, though. Why would that be a rivalry? I don't want it to be a rivalry. Let's see. Our main rivalry, story. We can't choose because we don't have one set up. So it's probably going to be the default one. Rivalry duration. We're going to make this a short one. Choose rivals. Our big one is going to be Mark Henry to start it off with and Mark Henry's challenger. Now, I've picked Mark Henry's challenger fairly and opportunistically. And that first champion that's going to go up and get that opportunity to face him will be Cesaro. Cesaro's worked his ass off, and now he gets that opportunity. Now, 
we're going to get rid of the Usos championship, and then we're going to go short as well because we're going to be coming off our pay-per-view. So we want to end this. We want to get it done with as uh, we're coming right off of WrestleMania. So this is the rematch pay-per-view. This is the one that sets everything up for the future. So, yes, we've got Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. Oops, I, I should have put it on a tag team match. There we go. Choose rivals. We're going to go ahead and put it as the Usos. Jimmy and Jay versus A New Day, which is Kofi and Xavier Woods. So Kofi, Xavier Woods. They've got their rivalry. And last but not least, our Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler, will be coming off a short feud right after WrestleMania. He faced this man at WrestleMania. We're going to see where things go and how, if at all, he can close him out, and that man will be Tyson Kidd. Hit back. Oops. No, we want Tyson Kidd, and we want Dolph Ziggler, who is our current IC champion. So there we go. We've got our first feud set up. Interference one. Rising stars. Distractions. Oh, man. We've got some crazy stuff going on, so let's hit back. We've got a rivalry set up. WWE.com. We don't have any news because nothing is ready to go. Let's go ahead and see our main feud unfold. And then universe mode going forward, I will be editing, cutting together, and fully commentating as well. But for the first episode, we just want to start it off. So we have all the matches, the feuds going on right now. Let's go ahead and check this out. Rivalry match, Mark Henry versus Cesaro here on Friday Night SmackDown. Coming off the WrestleMania match, it was Mark Henry who is successfully able to defend his WWE championship against the Swiss superstar Cesaro. During the match, Cesaro got a little cocky. Mark Henry would catch him when he was going for the European uppercut, and he would deliver the world's strongest slam out of nowhere. Cesaro looks for vengeance here tonight. Look at Mark Henry. He looks like an absolute beast. He's ready to go. You see the belt on him. The belt looks so weird on him. Hopefully, hopefully it works. And here he is. Cesaro is ready to go. Cesaro versus Mark Henry opening match let's get things going Cesaro Mark Henry the rematch right after their Wrestlemania contest now they're facing off on Smackdown Cesaro he's pissed he's not happy at what happened at Wrestlemania the distraction now Cesaro trying to take it right to Mark but Mark easily able to stop it that big headbutt taking Cesaro down Mark Henry running off the ropes big splash that could be it as Cesaro rolls out of the ring. Cesaro, I don't think, is ready for Henry. Oh, he turns around, and Mark Henry puts Cesaro on his ass. Now Cesaro. Mark Henry's got him up top on the shoulder. He's walking around with him on the outside. Puts him down on the padding. Mark Henry dominating Cesaro in this match as SmackDown rolls on. And then we would be coming back from break as Cesaro... Gets sent back in the ring. Mark Henry chasing him back in. Cesaro able to get out of the way. But Mark able to capitalize once again, putting Cesaro on the mat. These guys have been feuding since the elimination pay-per-view. The elimination chamber pay-per-view, excuse me. And Cesaro, he won the first one. But unfortunately, he was not able to win it cleanly. And then Mark Henry was able to capitalize at WrestleMania. This is the culmination of their feud. As they head in, this is Cesaro's last chance. He's got one more opportunity, and if he does not beat Mark Henry for the WWE Championship, he will be moving on. He has yet to do it. He has yet to take down Mark Henry, and look at the strength of Cesaro. Cesaro putting Mark Henry on the mat. What power, what strength from the Swiss superstar. Yes, he was the man during WrestleMania 30 at the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale who took Big Show, lifted him above, and threw him 
over the top rope. So you know Cesaro's got all the strength in the world, and Mark Henry is just that challenge. Look at Cesaro once again. Cesaro going up top. Cesaro going up top, but I think he took a little too long. He took a little too long, and Mark Henry was able to capitalize. I think he was trying to hit that big European uppercut from that top rope. Mark Henry, big fall away slam. Mark Henry showing he's got the ability as well. He has been a great WWE champion so far. He has held the title for a little over six months now. Mark Henry's got the reign he's always deserved here in the WWE. And now, possibly looking to wrestle the future. Mark Henry gets put down on the mat again. Uh-oh, where's Cesaro going? Cesaro, now this is a non-title opportunity. Cesaro must win this match to get the opportunity to face Mark Henry at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. That's what the GM said. He has to beat him in order to get that opportunity and puts him straight down, and he comes off that chair, but he gets out of the way. Now Cesaro goes for the big boot. He misses, though. Oh, the referee taking the chair out of the way. The referee using that chair, getting it out of the ring, getting it out of Dodge. Now Cesaro. Big snap DDT on Mark Henry. Cesaro not too happy about the fact that he took away his chair. Cesaro, what are you doing? Cesaro, this is not a no DQ match. If you want this opportunity to face Mark Henry at the pay-per-view, you cannot get yourself disqualified. Oh, Mark Henry once again getting powered on. And Cesaro rolling out of the ring, trying to get the hell out of Dodge. You can see he's pissed now. He's trying to figure out what he can do to beat the big Mark Henry, the strength, the power, the world's strongest man. Yes, Antonio Cesaro is strong. He is very strong. But Mark Henry is the world's strongest athlete. That is not a title any man can have. And you can see Cesaro trying to lay down shots at Mark Henry. Mark Henry responding. Oh, Mark Henry just runs straight into Cesaro. Just putting him on his ass. Now Cesaro getting thrown over and sent right back into that padding. Mark Henry now running back into the ring. Referee at a count of six. Cesaro, can he answer the 10 count? If he's not able to answer the 10 count here, Mark Henry moves on. Cesaro will lose his opportunity. The referee at a count of eight. The referee waiting for it, and he's at a count of a slow count here. He was at a count of seven. There he is. There's a count of seven. Mark Henry getting his eye raked in. Now Cesaro going up top. Cesaro going up top, but Mark Henry knocks him off of the apron. Knocks him off the turnbuckle. And now he's trying to go right after him. Oh, he goes for the big boot, but he gets caught. Mark Henry catches him, puts him right down on that knee. Now Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry's calling for the end here. He sees it. Oh, no. Cesaro. Cesaro reverses it. No. Mark Henry reverses it. Oh, man. Mark Henry. Oh, no. Cesaro reverses it. Very, very back in fourth contest here. Cesaro with the European uppercut. He's got Mark Henry on the ropes. He's picking him up. Mark Henry goes face first into the ropes. Now where's Cesaro going? Oh, Cesaro. He's got no stamina. He's up in the corner. Cesaro hits the knees on the stomach of Mark Henry. That could be it. Go for the pin. But I think Cesaro's two days. I don't think he has the strength and the power to be able to pin him. Uh-oh. Cesaro. Mark Henry's able to capitalize and get him off him. Big European uppercut there. Oh, he's throwing him off the ropes. Ducks underneath. Catches him. Drops him face first, but look at Cesaro. Cesaro is absolutely destroyed in this match. Going for the pin. This could be it. One. No, Mark Henry still kicking out at the count of one. Can Mark Henry capitalize? He was able to kick out at one. Cesaro gets reversed on. Mark Henry now. He gets reversed, though. Uh-oh, Cesaro calling for the end. This could be it right here. Cesaro. Cesaro. He caught him. He caught Mark Henry, and he's going to hit the neutralizer middle of the ring. That has got to be it. He's got to pin him, though. He's got to pin him. He's too dazed. He goes for the pin. It's over. One, two, three. Cesaro catches Mark Henry out of nowhere with the neutralizer, gets the victory, and he has guaranteed his title opportunity at the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. I'm not sure how they're going to be able to top this match. Mark Henry gave it everything he had. There was his opportunity. 
but Cesaro was able to overcome him. So Universe Mode starts off with a bang. Cesaro beating Mark Henry and moving on to the Extreme Rules pay-per-view. Now, we don't know the stipulation of that match yet. You're going to have to stick around and find out. But Cesaro able to win after hitting the neutralizer. There it is for the one, two, three. Cesaro does it. You can say he's pumped. He's excited. He's ready to go. And he could be, he could very well be your next WWE champion.